Welcome everyone to this presentation. In this presentation, we'll be considering scale of measurement of structural drawings details in protest structure that is being exported to AutoCAD. These structural drawings consist of various scales, which are what we are going to be looking at in this particular lesson. So stay tuned as we go straight away into the lesson. We'll be making progress from here. This uh, project is the project we carry out the modeling, analysis, and design in one of uh, my previous lesson. And so, towards the end of this lesson, at the left corner of this uh, window, you will see the uh, the link to follow up with this project. If actually you want to actually know how we carry out this uh, project. And so, what we are considering today is the scale. So, we want to be exporting this uh, project to uh, Prota Detail. And for me to do that, I'll go straight away to the uh, concrete tab. If I click on this load Prota Detail, this will automatically load Prota Detail and take this uh, project straight away to Prota Detail so as to detail the various reinforced concrete structural elements. Okay, so straight away, let us go into Prota Detail. All right, so here is Prota Detail, and as you can see, these are the drawings. All right, you can see my foundation layout. You can see my first floor, second floor, all right, as well as the uh, beam details. Okay, so what we are considering here is how to identify the scales of measurement of each of these uh, structural uh, elements. Okay, so for us to quickly check that using this Prota Detail, We'll go straight away to format tab this tab click right there in the drop down menu you just select uh dimensions tab click right there okay now in this dimension tab you will notice that uh, we have a various dimension dimension style set in this provision okay you can see the beam you can see the column map you can see the uh standard and for instance i select this standard now if i scroll down i should scroll down you will notice that the overall scale is 1 and the linear scale is also 1. This means that this particular standard is set to scale 1 is to 100. Alright? Okay. If I should select on beam there and I scroll down to where I see the scale, you notice that the overall scale is 1 and the linear scale is 0 0.5. Alright? And so, this is telling you that the scale of the beams is 1 is to 50. Alright, so how do you get this 50 I'm talking about? You use this 0 0.5 to multiply by the 100, which is the overall scale, which will now give you 50 as the scale. For instance, if you select this column nap and then you screw down, you also notice that the linear scale is 0 0.4. So these are the things that I will bring to our understanding in a minute. Okay? So this is how we can also check this using Prota Detail. But straight away, we want to be exporting this drawing to AutoCAD, where this will be explained in fully. So let's proceed. I will have to close this right now. And then, if I want to export this drawing to AutoCAD now, what I will do is, is either I click on this export DWG slash DXF, click right there, right click, and then select export or i can go straight away to file just as it is there then come down come down to where i have exports for external software and then in this drop down menu i now begin i will now select export to dwg all right so once i click on that this drawing will be automatically exported to autocad so straight away let's go into autocad here is AutoCAD, and these are all the drawing details being exported to AutoCAD, just like this. So we want to be confirming this case because it is quite unprofessional for us to plot our civil engineering drawing without scales. That is why scale is very, very important. And you can see all these drawings are 
basically on different scales. The beam you are seeing there is of different scale. The foundation footing here is of different scales. And so when you are plotting them, it is very, very important that you place scales under it so that somebody that who is reading it will actually understand that yes, you are drawing, you did it according to specification and it is based on so so scale. Alright, that is what makes it professional. So straight away we want to start from the foundation. Okay. So if you zoom closely to these foundations and then you select one of these dimensions just like this. You will and then it goes to the way to annotate tab. You know you understand that uh, you will be having a standard as the uh dimension star. Okay, standard as the dimension star. Now I want to show you something there. If I should type D for dimension star, click on enter, it will take me to dimension style dialog manager. Alright, then in the dimension style dialog manager. I have various dimension style that have been set okay successfully. So if I straight away select on this standard and then click on modify, I want to show something in a minute. Alright, so in the modify dimension style standard, I want to go straight away to the primary unit, click right there. So if you click right there, the primary unit, you notice the scale factor here is one. If the scale factor, since the scale factor is one, it simply means this dimension is in scale one is to hundred, and the all of the objects is also assuming the same scale. You understand? all right and so that is what i want to show you about this okay now i want to be doing some simple example so that you really understand what i'm saying in a minute i'll click on okay and then i'll have to close this right the way all right so if i want to dimension this now enable this star, dimension style settings to be standard and i pick uh the my dimension to be able to pick this point uh this point and then i pick that point and I bring it closely, I zoom it closely. You notice that it is what? It's the 1700 mm. We get that. Just the same thing we are having here. Alright? Okay. So, now, if I change this standard now, if I click right there in the drop down menu, maybe I go straight away to beam. See beam here? Click right there. And I try to dimension this. Let's see what it will give us. Now, it's giving us 850. Do you not see that it is because of the difference in the scales that causes this uh, uh, result? You get that? Alright, so I want to deselect that. Having understand that, I want to be showing you something again. If I select this right away and then I come to the property, I scroll down to the uh, primary unit, you will notice that the dimension scale in here is 1, which is just the same thing I have shown you in the dimension stack. Okay, so what am I trying to tell you? If you are able to edit this drawing, you know, the scale you are going to place on it is 1 is to 100. For these foundations, including the first floor layout, beam layout, and the columns layout, all of these are in scale 1 is to 100. Alright, so let's go to the way to beam and understand the scale of this uh, beam. Right. If I zoom this closely and I select this, you will notice that I'm having beam here as my dimension star. Okay. So if I now come to the property, scroll down to scroll down to primary unit, you will notice that I'm having dimension scale linear as 0 0.5, and I'm having dimension subunit scale as 100. Okay. So. How do you know the actual scale of this particular uh, drawing now, which is the beam? How to do that is, you use this 0 0.5, multiply it by this 100, it will give you 50. Meaning the scale of this is 1 is to 50. Hope that is quite very clear. Now, if I should do D on the keyboard for my dimension star, and then I click on enter, I select beam right away, and then click on modify. Alright? Then goes to the way to primary unit, click right there. You will notice that the scale factor is 0 0.5 in this case. In the other case of foundations lay, uh, layout, it was 1. But in the case of beam, it is 0 0.5. So these are different scales entirely I, I wanted to uh, bring to our knowledge. You get? And so this scale is simply telling you that uh, uh, this beam is in scale 1 is to 50. Because if you multiply 0 0.5 by 100, you will have uh, 50 which is the normal and the actual scale of this drawing of this beam details all right so i'll click on ok and then i will close this right away i want to go straight away to uh, column plant layout 
column plan layout this one let us check the scale of this one how do you do that select it once you select it you can see the changes here the dimension style has changed to column map okay so if you come straight away for these provisions where you are having the properties and then scroll down to uh primary unit all right you will see that the dim scale linear is 0 0.4 so you can now see the differences now the first one was one the second one for beam was 0 0.5 now is for column plan you can see it now is that it is 0 0.4 the later one sorry was 0 0.5 okay and you can see the dim soft unit scale is 100 okay so this particular drawing now this one is in scale 1 is to 40 all right because how do you get that you need to now use um you need to now use 0 0.4 multiplied by 100 which will now give you what 40 and the scale now is 1 is to 40 all right so these are the various scales that are being used for the drawing details exported from total structure to autocad that i wanted to bring to our knowledge successfully in the subsequent lesson i will tell you and explain how to manipulate it and how to actually implement this case maybe since this one now is in scale 1 is to 40 you can change it to 1 is to 20 so that the object can be more bigger mind you the smaller the scale is the bigger the object okay the size of the object in a scale 1 is to 100 is different from the size of the sub object in a scale 1 is to 50 and so in the subsequent lesson i will throw more light on scale and will show us more on how to increase our scales as well as reducing the scales in our drawing before plotting so that we can be able to provide a standard plotted drawings and so this brings this lesson to a stop and i want to say you like the lesson if you have not subscribed you subscribe and stay tuned for more advanced lesson bye for now